Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hey, John, how you doing? And we've got Michelle Good. with us, a love and relationship coach, Michelle Fabrica, with us today. Uh, how are you doing, Michelle? I'm good. Hello, Art. Hi, John. Yeah. How are you? Hi, Michelle. Good to have you with us because I have a problem that only, well, not only you, but you should, uh, you should address for a friend of mine. A friend? <laughs> a friend, John? Not a friend, but a real friend. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You'll know this is a is, is not an excuse when I tell you that I've been married for 50 years, so it's not me. Uh -huh. But I do have a friend who's been long divorced, and he has a relationship with a, a lady friend now, and they've moved in together. And the problem is not that he's got a relationship or that they're living together. The problem is his adult children are coming to visit, and a, an extended visit apparently, and they don't know about her. Now, I don't know all the dynamics in the family, but I do know that he's dreading having to introduce them to her because it's not a gonna, he can't hide the secret. You know, this can't be, they came for lunch and this is my friend and now goodbye. It's gonna be real obvious they're living together and they, the kids, don't know that. They don't, and apparently, He's worried about how they're going to receive this information. Oh, so, so this is I not, if they're not introducing her then to a, a one night sleepover. This is, a, <laughs> this, is a, this is a person who's actually living there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's already moved in. So, mm -hmm. you know, all you need to do is get the daughter in law to open the closet and see all these <laughs> women's dresses. <laughs> to say, That's not mom's, you know, mm -hmm. whatever it is. So here's the question for you, and I think this is not an uncommon problem for seniors, active seniors who are over 50. Uh, many, many people are divorced and are looking for new relationships and have living lovers. How do you deal, how do you introduce this person to your kids, uh, knowing that your kids are not going to take it well, which is apparently the situation. Well, you, assume, you assume they're not going to take it well. Well, he, he knows. I mean, he's, that's why he's dreading it. That's why we've been talking about, it. oh, God, how do I tell them? Should I tell them ahead of time? Should I? And, and, and will they like her? And, and he thinks they're not going to like her just in general, you know, just because she's living in there. But all that specific dynamics uh, aside, um, it's not an uncommon problem. How do you deal with your adult children uh, about your sexuality, about living with somebody? Yeah, those are great, great questions. And I think the key that I want to highlight a little bit is that depending on how you feel about it, that's going to really have an impact on how it goes with your kids. So if you're oh, feeling no. a little guilty, if you're feeling like, oh, my God, this is like bringing somebody home to meet my parents. Um, and, and, and it's OK. It's understandable. It's more like there's some sort of a discovery or inquiry to do first for yourself around that. Um, cause ideally, you know, if you're, you know, at one point, at some point you're going to be dating again. And whenever that starts, maybe that's the time to tell your children just to let them know, you know, um, that this is what I'm doing. And, you know, partly just to keep them informed about you, but also, you know, maybe they might accidentally find out from someone or it might just, you know, it, it kind of better not to surprise people. Right. And certainly in the, in the, you know, the case of your friend, you really want to talk to your children in advance of the visit so they know in advance and um it's not something to just <laughs> come on in and oh, somebody's living here with me so so that would be the best way to ho handle it and and really it's um you know decide for yourself like okay so how what would i how would i like this to go do i have expectations here am i concerned you know what if my children don't like her well you know what if they don't right away you know can i live with that is that you know, things take time, right? Sometimes, you know, you, it'll work out great and that's awesome. And sometimes it, it takes some time, you know, um, especially if it's been, if it was a divorce that was not, um, let's say mutual by both parties or, you know, after, uh, you know, some, a, pass, a spouse has passed away, it, it's, you know, it's hard for kids to see their parents um, as sexual beings sometimes. Well, sure. Yeah. It seems, John, that your friend has a problem in that. When are the kids coming over? Pretty soon, huh? Well, they, it, probably in about two weeks. Oh, although then they got to call now because if like the kids are on the way and they call them on the phone, and say, "By the way, <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, this uh, somebody I'd like you to meet." And uh, by the way, she lives here. <laughs> yeah. So, so 
So it looks like uh, he's uh, waited a little bit. Well, maybe it's not too long, as long as he lets yeah. him know in advance. I think that's, yeah. that seems to be what the secret would be. Again, whether uh, uh, you're widowed and uh, the kids will have some time getting used to right. another woman in your life, or it was a divorce, whether it was amicable or not. Uh, but uh, so t giving them some advance warning so it can sink in. It may, it may still blow up in your face, but as long as they have a chance to think about it, there's probably less of a chance of, oh, by the way, this is Sally and she lives here and uh, or we've been shacking up for a couple of months. I didn't tell you. <laughs> well, uh, Michelle, mm. I, I, I don't, again, I don't know exactly why, but I do know that he's kind of expecting a, a bad reaction from the kids. So if you, let's assume for a second that uh, he's accurate. Mm. You know that he he knows his kids pretty well. Um, what can you do to soften the blow for them? Yeah, yeah. Well, really, I mean, like I said, in in terms of letting them know, you know, with advance notice is is I think really important. And also, just kind of be prepared for that conversation. Like, take some time and really listen to your kids. Listen to what they have to say. Listen to what their feelings are. Listen to what their thoughts about it are. Is it you know that you know, they're worried about your money or something like that. You know, who knows? There could be different things going on for them. And is it just like, it's just going to take some time for them to kind of metabolize the information yeah. and, and just be willing to listen. Like, you know, it's not, you don't need their approval, right? You get to have your full, rich, awesome life, you know, and they, so do they, right? And so it's, it, it's kind of like partly you getting really comfortable with like, you know, I get to move on and it's okay and it's good. Yeah. And, and the other thing about the listening part is that, you know, really listen and, and, and if there are any concerns to address, you know, address your children's concerns about it. And additionally, I want to say that you really want to also share what it is about the partnership um, that is meaningful to you. Like, you know, wow, I really love this woman and she's really meaning, we're really having a great time. I didn't think I could find this kind of love again. Let them see how excited you are about it. This is after you do the listening, right? Make sure the order is right, because it's really important, I think, to do it in a certain order. But, but let them know your enthusiasm and, like, you know, you're just feeling really alive and it's meaningful. Like, you know, let them see you in that delight. And I think that's going to also help them. And like I said, well, I'm kind of mixing my situations here, but, you know, on the phone call also, after you address some concerns and listen, and maybe you need to make another phone call to tell them how excited you are. I'm not sure, depending on the situation, but, but you really want to have it kind of worked out in advance. And then you also might want to share with your partner, you know, I just want to let you know, my kids are a little hesitant to meet you and um, I love you. I want you to be here, you know, reassure them that they're, they're not going to be, you know, kicked out just because your kids don't like them. It's interesting uh, how the dynamic between a parent and child changes as we get older, as we move, in, as they get older and we get older um, and we move into our 60s and beyond. Um, and they often the kids become the parent, the parent becomes the child, you know, uh, and here we are looking or he is at any rate looking for his children's approval. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's kind of, it's sweet. I mean, there's something really like you care, you care about the relate. He cares about the relationship. He cares about his kids. He cares about what they think of him. I mean, those are beautiful sentiments and it's also, you know, good to dig a little deeper, like, Oh, okay. So, wow. But do I get to have my life and how can we, you know, work through this over time? Yeah. And obviously, if they lived closer, they would already have known about uh, his relationships and his dating and everything else. Yeah. Right, right. Exactly. Yeah. Well, interesting um, for all of us over 50, um, how that dynamic of living changes. Uh, thank you, Michelle. Yeah, I hope it goes well insights. for your friend. And yeah, then, yeah my commitment to uh, the two of you and to your friend, John, is that I'm going to get a pre-production version of this thing so he can look at the raw film because he probably needs that information now. <laughs> yes, yeah, the sooner the better. Well, I'll be talking to him tomorrow, so. Okay. Anyway. Good. Michelle, again, thank you very much. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends, Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.